I think over the past month or two, there has been increased confidence that overall spending in 2025 and maybe even 26 would uh, increase by double digit and industry would hit the new uh, market uh, of 120, 125 billion. And these stocks are up 15, 20% over the past two months. As, uh, as a matter of fact, Semicon West that happened last week in San Francisco, uh, the, the tone was very positive and uh, these stocks were reacting to increase prospect of upside. Uh, I think, generally speaking, the, given how these share prices were built for perfection, the market was ready for any kind of excuse to take profit. Uh, the two articles by uh, Bloomberg that came out overnight was the catalyst for some profit taking, but isn't really the main reason. I think these stocks were built for perfection. But the fundamental story when you look at the earnings results is sound, isn't it, Mady? So uh, the, the issue is net bookings, which is the key industry metric, 5.6 billion euros in the June quarter. Is that at risk, given no. ASML no. derives think... nearly half of its sales from China? Because these are the kind of equipment that is used for trading edge. Um, I think there is a broad agreement and the capital equipment industry in U.S., in, in, in Netherlands and, and Japan are under uh, uh, assumption that the trading edge will not be banned. Uh, I, I think <laughs> I think equipment industry has a very strong lobbying group. And, and despite all the restrictions of the past couple of years, as I said earlier, industry has been able to uh, um, drive record revenue and China becoming 50 percent. I think right. just quickly on ASML. I think the main fundamental uh, maybe, can reason... I just clarify, can, I, can I just clarify yeah. something? Because ASML sure. makes, to your point of leading edge, makes extreme ultraviolet lithography yeah. machines that are criti critical for uh, advanced uh, yeah. chip making. So do these restrictions apply to EUV? And uh, yes. if they are restricted from China, then what's the workaround? Where can they redeploy the product? They're not... They're not doing a workaround. If you look at their top customers are TSM, Samsung, and Intel, accounting for 50, more than 50% of their revenue. Uh, what ASML is currently shipping to China is for trading edge, and they are abiding the rules, just like applied material, LAM research, or KLA. I don't think ASML in particular is doing anything different than US-based equipment vendors. Maybe but we got to wrap I think it what up happened there. Today, so, sorry, go ahead. Finish your thought, please. I think, I think what happened today, uh, which is not really reflected in the headline, ASML is going through a major product transition. They have, um, they're always a pioneer in enabling the Moore's Law uh, continuing to uh, sustain. Uh, they're, and, and, and as such, they're in a product transition. Uh, this new product would, uh, would actually help improve the economics of leading edge. This is a huge positive for the key customers of TSM, like Apple, Amazon, uh, Google, and so forth. I think there, there's always some, um, um, some fluctuation in, in early stage of this transition. And this is what ASML is going through. They're also going through a new CEO transition, so maybe the communication has been, hasn't been as effective. So to me, this... A uh, sell-off to, to a large extent has to do with disappointing Q3 September quarter guide, which reflect this product transition and the fact that there's a new CEO in charge and they have to learn how to communicate, communicate with the street is also making the bad situation worse.